Right, right. We've arrived at Stanton Park and uh, I've just spotted two friends of mine. Dino and Ken. Hi Dino. Hi Ken. And I'm filming as well. <laughs> Always filming. How are you both? You okay brothers? Oh, thank you. Good, yeah. I have got. Oh, that's your magnet. I have got. That's okay. Magnet. Whatever, that's the magnet I found in the lake. So I pulled that out. Oh, you found it. And I ordered on eBay um, two weeks ago when I lost my boat, part yes. of my boat. Yeah. I ordered a grappling hook to go in and drag it out. I see. But I think it, the business was done with your rake, you know. It was in there all the time. Wow, nice grappling. It's all, all in there all the time. So today, what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and fish my old GoPro out. Oh, so I'm hoping to throw this in, drag it, because yeah. it's going to sink deeper. I think the GoPro's in mud, maybe about six inches down or something. Yeah. That'll go through it, yeah. and then behind it, I've got, that, the, I've got, got the magnet, got the magnet it's going to clamp bracket. onto it. And how long ago did you lose it? Three years. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's been down there that long. Been but they all sealed, that time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I gave, I gave up on it. I gave up on it, I suppose. Yeah about three months after I lost it, two months after yeah. I lost it. Uh, but then it was reignited again when I lost me, lost my boat and my, my yeah. GoPro um, a few and, weeks ago. And you know more or less where it is? Yeah, I've, I, do you know what, I think I've dragged it right to the foot of the reef, at right. the bottom of the, of the wall. When they repaired that wall, they dumped all those rocks in. Yeah. And um, to support it. Yeah, uh, yeah. And of course, there's a risk of it your drags catching on those rocks and possibly the possibly bottom, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just give it a go then. give it a, well i've done the magnet i just want to try and drag drag it in. it might get snagged if, if if it does get snagged i've got other ways i can unsnag it yeah, yeah. from you know you just go further to the left or further to the right or, or what you do yeah possibly or, just, or what you do is tie a rock onto it onto the rope throw the rock in yeah. with a rope then it it pushes yeah, it, it from the other way. pulls it the other yeah. way yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. wow <sighs> Keep okay, yourself busy I, I, then. I, I, I was there, but I'm not. Right, it was uh, really nice to see uh, Ken and Dino, uh, two good friends of mine who come down here quite often. Um, right, uh, on with the video. <clears throat> Heading down to the lake. Um, I'm going to be throwing this in, okay? All right, don't laugh. Uh, right, so. <laughs> Uh, what we got here basically is um, is a grappling hook, and uh, on the bottom of it, I'm just trying to flip you around, get get it right. Okay, on the bottom of it uh, is my is my magnet. Um, so there we go. So I'll be throwing that in. I'll also be attaching a camera um, if I've got all my camera stuff with me. I'll be attaching it uh, to that just there. Let's see that and I'll be uh, throwing that in so we might get some mm, strange looking video I suppose uh, yeah so <laughs> well my thinking is okay is that the the GoPro has been down there best part of three years and it's probably sank into the mud and the silt and I've probably covered it by throwing the rake in several times, trying to rake it out and other stuff as well. Um, so I probably raked it over and it's probably down maybe four or five, maybe six inches. I mean, I don't know. Uh, but I'm hoping that this uh, thing's going to drop down, uh, put it up and um, you might drag it along and then it might fall into the, uh, the clutches of my magnet and bring it back to daddy. That's the plan anyway. I'm not sure it's going to work like that, but... Um, if nothing else, we might get some strange footage. But there might be an added bonus in it when I get my GoPro back. It would be interesting, actually, to see if it still works. Being down there for three years. Um, it's got a nice SD card in it, and they're worth a bit of money, so uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying to drag it out, actually. But um, chances are it's probably not going to happen. But... Um, other than going down there with some scuba gear, uh, I don't suppose this is the next best thing. I suppose something like this. Anyway, we give it a go. We'll see what happens. It's a bit wet. I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay down here. Perhaps an hour or so. I have got to go and pick the wife up later. Uh, so I've got about an hour, an hour and a half, and um, 
Well, we'll just see what happens. Anyway, let's crack on. Just a matter of getting getting it lined up right, tightening it up so it doesn't move, and then that's about right, I think. Yeah, that's about right. And then throwing it in pretty much. Roughly where I think it's gonna be. Right, not sure what this is gonna look like, but um could be interesting. First find of the day, got myself a coin, looks like a penny, got myself a penny, wow, alright let's try again. doing something. I got myself a penny out, a coin. Could have been an old Roman one, couldn't it, eh? Yeah, well, um, it's kind of encouraging, really, because um, I didn't get that one before. Uh, and I've been, um, well, extensively magnet fishing this lake, this part of the lake, uh, for the past, uh, well, a few weeks, I suppose. So, you never know, we might get some luck. You never know. The old adage, you know, more times you throw it in and all that. So it's a fairly deep part of the lake here, it's about 11 foot deep. Um, yeah, it's got a very a very muddy bottom, as you'll probably see on the camera. Uh, so even if you did go in there with flippers and a snorkel, um, I don't think you'll have much luck because all you'll be kicking around is the silt. You can't see your hand in front of your face then, so that's fairly a fairly pointless exercise. But uh, this is different, you know. This is um, interesting. Something. Put myself back a log. <laughs> Put on log back. Right, let's try again. Yeah. So it's it's you know if it's down there if the if the camera's down there, and I think it is, I think it is, unless someone else has fished it out, because the magnet I'm using now actually found this in here. So obviously someone's been in here magnet fishing, they might have got it out, I don't know. But I mean, if it's down there, there's a chance that I can, I can lift it out. Um, which would be uh, quite amazing if that was to happen. But it's a chance of it. You know, the, the hook's going to sink down to a good depth into the mud and the silt. 
and then I'm hoping that it's gonna drag something up and then the uh, magnet's gonna do its job. So if nothing else, we got some um, kind of interesting footage I'd have thought. Yeah, I'd have thought. Um, just hoping just to try and get it on the right path. So if the, uh, if it's down there, I'm hoping it's gonna cling onto it and it ain't gonna let go. Yeah, the um, oh, in, in Britain, we've uh, it's been announced that there's been a lockdown um, of uh, a city called uh, Leicester. Um, apparently, the coronavirus is uh, is um, has peaked there, and um, they decided to lock it down. because uh, the government are thinking that, um, well, to really get on, to get on top of it, that's what they have to do. Right, so far, no luck. <laughs> so far, no luck. Oh, got all of something. I think it was a rock. I think there is um, a bit of a, a bit of a rocky base down there. When they Ken was telling me, uh, talking to him earlier, uh, he was saying that um, well, this was actually closed off here for best part of I think about a year or so. This path here, and uh, they rebuilt it because it kind of. Um, well, it, it just kind of collapsed. It went in into the lake pretty much and they spent a lot of money on redoing it. And uh, they've redone it and to reinforce it, they've actually built a bit of a, a dam, you know, to stop it from sliding back in the lake again. Um, and what you got down there is a load of rocks. And uh, as this grappling hook sort of comes closer towards it, it's grabbing hold of it and um, just makes it a bit difficult. It gets, it gets snagged, it's not too bad to be honest, uh, but it, uh, it does get a little bit snagged up on it, um, which uh, doesn't, it doesn't help, uh, but not to worry, not to worry. I'm just hoping that I can, um... Just hoping that I can I can pull something out of interest. Um, that's the good thing about this is you never quite know what you're going to get. You know, you never know what you're going to get. Um, it's a shame it's so muddy down there because I, you know, if this was uh, like um, some of the other lakes around here, we're surrounded by old quarries. When you go up to, uh, towards uh, the Cotswolds, not far from you, it's sort of maybe ten miles away, eight miles away. Um, there's um, a lot of quarries up there and uh, they're stony bottom. Most of them are stony bottom. Um, this one isn't, this is uh, it's very muddy down there, I'm afraid, very muddy. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Nearly wiped out a duck. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Duck. Uh, anyway, so there we go. Yeah, but um, no, people have found all sorts in, in the rivers 
and in lakes you know because there basically is all sorts in there um, but I think the magnet fishing's been around you know a while um, but no one, no one was doing it when I was a kid put it that way so it's quite a see quite a recent phenomenon ish I've uh, got an old washer there there we go that might come in handy I'll stick that one in the toolbox I, don't know, I always need washers and things it's coming handy they do just a shame it didn't have a GoPro Session 4 attached to it <laughs> no I think if it's in there uh, it, 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 you kept doing this it's just a matter of time before before you pull it out it's just a matter of time I just think that someone's beat me to it it's either that or it's in it's in a load of rubbish it's in a load of mud somewhere and it's sunk and it's sunk down to the to some uh, depths which we never will never be seen again you never know but the thing is you got to be out here to get it you got to be in it to win it as they say you got to be in it to win it Anyway, carry on doing this a bit longer. It's actually quite good exercise. <laughs> it's quite good exercise. Okay, that's my prize possessions today, was one pea and a big thick washer. There we go, there we go. Was that a fruitless journey, you know? <laughs> Just it could have been better, that's all. Um, yeah, we're gonna say goodbye to the lake once again for today. Uh, I, might be, I might be down here again tomorrow, I'm not sure yet, uh, doing kind of the same thing. Um, yeah, I'm beginning to think, um, I mean, that was a good tool I used there. The grappling hook with a, a really good strong magnet on the end of it. Uh, that's a really good tool. I mean, that, that thing would fetch the fillings out your head. You know, if you've got any in there, mine have all fallen out. Um, but no, yeah, that's a really good tool. And I'm beginning to think now three scenarios. Scenario one. It's in there, but it's really, really deep down in the mud. There's a lot of filthy mud down there, so it could have sunk down a long way. If that's the case, that ain't ever gonna be seen again. Uh, scenario two, uh, it's in the rocks. You know, it's, it's in the dam or the rocks there. 
it's in there somewhere and it's very difficult to get out get it out you need a pair of hands to get that out and i've been down there with uh with with my grabbing tool uh, and the camera is looking for it and i can't see it um scenario three it ain't there at all i think possibly someone could have come down there and, and gotten it out with a magnet um i uh it's either that or I, I pulled it out myself some years ago along with a load of weed. It could have been, it could have been in the weed. You know, that's a, that's a possibility. Um, that's a big possibility, actually. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to shoot off home now and I'm going to make myself a nice cup of tea, a nice cup of tea and a biscuit or a sandwich. Not sure what I've got in the fridge actually, I have to go and have a look. Anyway, definitely a cup of tea. I'm going to download the footage uh, from the cameras and probably time now for me to say thanks for watching. See you again and take care, God bless, and yeah, look after yourself. Hello, doggy. <laughs>